gentlemen, welcome back to Play Series Break Free. Today we have a great matchup for you. It's Vinny Calabrese versus Rui Battaglia. I'm Max Eberly, and we start off now with rack number one. Rui has a shot to get back down on the two, but he doesn't want to get snookered behind the four. So it looks like he was making sure that he didn't get snookered. That's why he came up a little bit short, which is better than going all the way down. And, get, and getting behind that four ball. So now it makes sense to go up and down the table because it's such a thin shot and it's wide open lane right down the middle. And he came far enough to where he can zigzag, zigzag back and forth for the four in the lower left hand pocket. The main thing there is don't scratch and he did a good job of that and he has an angle even though he's close to the rail He's not too close, and he's got a nice angle on his four. The problem, though, is he can't make a combo. There's no combos allowed. So he's got to get back up table, either for a bank shot or try to find a way to get all the way back up to shoot the five in the, in the same pocket as the four. And it looks like he might have been trying to do that, but he jumped it, and the cue ball squatted and stayed where it is in the general location. So... Now he can make this bank without having a double kiss on the cue ball as long as he makes a nice shot on the bank and pockets the five. Uh, position on the six will pretty much be automatic because he can be almost anywhere on the table. And wow, look at that great shot. Almost scratched in the side, but he didn't. Beautiful shot to save the rack by Rui. One nothing. Okay, let's see how Vinny decides to play position on this two ball. Pretty much the same thing as Rui, but he got down a little bit further, so he doesn't have to go back up and down the table. He can just float it in with some spin, and he's a little shallower on the three, so he could actually play that four ball in the upper left-hand corner. And just come across down to here. Nice line. Beautiful angle to get back underneath the five. It's tricky though because it's possible to get snookered on the six. And he did a good job going into the six. Because had he even hit the ball, he still would have been fine. And nice shot. I think that's Vinny's favorite shot actually. Nicely done. One to one. All right, so start off with a pretty easy shot. He has an angle to get on the two, as long as he doesn't snooker himself on his five ball. And because the two is really close to the pocket, it's okay to take that, that thin angle and, and don't try too hard to get perfect position on the two. He's got a pretty open lane here to just float up between the three and the six and take a thin shot on the three. Nicely done. Now this is interesting, that six ball plays real heavily in what he decides to do here. He could come around two rails with high left, he could draw, um, he could go around the four or even into the balls. Beautiful shot, he, 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 went, he went into him and ended up with a great shot on the four. Um, you'd expect him to get out here barring uh, some disastrous kind of shot. Okay, came up pretty short on this, but I like how he decided to come all the way back to the end rail and then back out again. He just a little bit more speed would have been nice for him. Let's see uh, how this cue ball deflects off the five. Looks like he can play it into the six. A little unfortunate. I think he was probably focused on. Uh, how he hit the six ball and it caused him to miss the five, although that was a pretty thin, thin cut shot that happens sometimes. So we'll see how Vinny decides to get on this two ball. He's also going into the three. 
Oh, now I see what he's doing. Pushing that three ball towards the pocket. Making the position zone uh, really huge for the for his next shot on the three. Oh, he's going for the second breakout in a row there on the four. Looks like he got it. Now all, all he has to do is squirrel that cue ball in there between the uh, rail and the six, or he could just float out towards the middle. But but he decided to get close to the four, and he's not jacked up on the six, so he's he's looking really good here as long as he can avoid this side pocket. And he went forward with it, so there's really no chance of a scratch there. Vinny being a, a former professional snooker player, he's really good with the bridge, and it showed right there. On that shot. Not only making the ball, but also playing a three, four rail position shot. And that was enough to give him the lead. So Rui is lamenting the, the miss on that five ball. He's got to make up some territory, make it back here. But that six is kind of a hindrance to getting back on the two. And so he decided to use that six as the first rail of the shot, I like to call it. But just didn't get quite the speed he was looking for, so it looks like he might have to go for a, a bank here and play position on the three at the same time. Uh, looks like he hit it pretty good, but not good enough. He would have been out from there for sure had the ball gone in because he had nice shape. Now let's see what Vinny does using the six ball here. I'm, I imagine he'll do the same thing. Just cooked it with a little more speed, had the spin to come back down, and now he's in great shape to run the rack. You know, a lot of times all I need is that one key ball, that key shot of the rack to set up a nice, easy run out for yourself. And it looks like that's the case right here. Little stun over. That's where you hit the ball near the center, and you and you just kind of have give it a nice stroke. And then go on the tangent line, or close to the tangent line. Well, depending on your angle, you, you might actually be going just straight forward. But nice out, and puts him in a three to one lead on the hill. Here, the main thing is you don't want to get snookered here behind that six ball. But you also don't want to come up too short on this two ball. Looks like he just got there just enough for a decent shot on this two. He still has to hit it well. If these pockets are real tight, this would be a pretty difficult shot. Nice speed. And looks like he might have an angle to, to hit this with high, a little bit of right, and come over for the four. If he does this well, then I think the rack is over, and he's going to get another point. OK, yeah, he didn't want to mess with that side pocket. The, the steep angle in the side, the pockets play a lot smaller. And he hit a beautiful shot to cut that ball up in the corner with inside English. Soft floating spin shot. Real professional level shot right there. And he ended up just as good as he could be on this four. He could go forward here with, with high left. He could draw this ball back to the rail and back out towards the six. The main thing is don't do anything crazy like putting yourself in a position to scratch or anything like that. So even though he went towards the side pocket a little bit, he made sure not to hit it too hard so that he would prevent scratching in the side. He likes using inside English. I, for some reason, he put that cue ball down towards the left. I like using high right on that and come straight across the table. Um, you know, but that's the cool thing about 
We all have different styles. But let's see how he gets on this important two ball. Well, that ended up pretty funny for him. Um, I think he didn't want to get behind the six, and he ended up just putting a little too much draw, too much spin. It came off with a funny angle. So this is this is the break that Rui needed to stay in the match. Obviously, Vinny's on the hill. So Rui's still alive here. That's a nice shot. No scratch. The main problem here is this four ball. He's going to have to play for a bank or play, play to get uh, shoot it straight up in the corner. Oh, it looks like he overcooked that. And boy, that's a lot of trouble right there. He definitely didn't want to be jacked up over this four. This is a really difficult shot now. Uh, maybe he hit the last ball too thin. I don't know. He, he was just... Uh, didn't hit his best shot there. Now he needs to come with a really great shot here. And that's tough because he had to come around. And as you can see, even if he didn't scratch, he might be behind that five ball. And it, it, that was just a tough shot, period. So Vinny's in the driver's seat. He's got a chance to put away the match here as it's a race to four. Let's see how he gets on this two ball. Low left. Well, he's getting, getting close to that three. He got pretty lucky here not to get behind the three with the way he hit it. But I'm sure he doesn't mind. Oh, yeah, he didn't even want to bother. Now, that, that looks like a game-winning shot. So he opened up the four ball. That was much easier to play position on that four. That was pretty much a game-winning shot there. Uh, now all he has to do is pocket this ball and punch out the cue ball, which he did nicely. And uh, looks like game over here. Vinny Calabrese with another win in the play series. And thank you all for watching. And we'll see you in the next match.